divers are risking their lives off the Perth coast to help sharks hawked on drum lines. They're swimming with big sharks to help them recover after they're released. Flanked on both sides, the rescue team embraces and guides the injured animal. It's an undersized tiger shark just released from a drum line off Hillary's. Bleeding and in shock, the activists say it was spotted belly up, sinking to the ocean floor. They're stimulating its nose to encourage water into its mouth and through its gills, gently encouraging it to swim. They stay with it for over an hour. And we'll literally hold it up and swim alongside as fast as we basically can. We're trying to flush water through the mouth over the gills to reactionate their system. You can imagine this thing's been struggling for its life for who knows how many hours, just being tortured, right? And it's exhausted. They call themselves independent observers and they've been following fisheries vessels for days. New Zealander Riley Elliott says he's done this same sort of thing for a 3.5 metre great white. They claim the state government's neglect is killing even undersized sharks that are released. They're left with gaping hook wounds too weak to swim. They're responsible for these things being released properly, which is not happening, and they're drowning on the sea floor. There are about 10 of these independent shark saving teams operating in WA waters on a rotating roster. Many of the divers have come here from other countries. Today, four of these independent rescue crews were out on the water trailing fisheries vessels. They say they'll keep going for as long as it takes. There's no end date on this and their numbers are actually growing. Today we had four. You know, yesterday it was three, so uh, it's, 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 it's support that has grown. Since baiting began, 110 sharks have been caught, 14 were dead and 30 destroyed. None were great whites. Alice Pooley, Nine News. And Alice Pooley's live at Hillary's tonight. Alice, will these activists face any charges? Well, no, Tim, they won't, and that's because tiger sharks aren't protected. But if these activists were to try and help a great white shark, which is protected, they could face some very heavy penalties. Now, it does seem strange because one of the key points of this shark cull is to catch and kill dangerous great white sharks, but nevertheless, the state government has today reiterated its stance on this. It says what these activists are doing is dangerous. It's also pointed out that its fisheries officers do in fact pass water over the undersized shark's gills before releasing releasing them to try and be as humane as possible. But what we do know is that if these activists enter an exclusion zone or try and tamper with any drum lines, they could face up to $25,000 in fines or 12 months behind bars. So some very heavy penalties there, Tim. All right, Alice, thank you. A group of conservationists say they rescued a dying tiger shark moments after it was released by fisheries from a Perth drum line. The group say they jumped in the water when the two and a half metre shark began to sink. A documentary crew claims to have filmed this rare footage off Trig Beach this morning. We picked it up, opened the mouth a little bit. It was still trying to breathe very heavily and we just helped swim it for an hour and a half until it could swim on its own. The government says it's not illegal to swim with a tiger shark, but it is dangerous, particularly when the shark has been freed from a hook. American marine scientist known the world over as the Shark Whisperer has come to Perth to voice her disgust at the government's controversial drumline policy. With model good looks, Ocean Ramsey has become a pin-up girl for shark conservation, but she says it's 20 years of diving experience which make her an authority. Could this be the meaning of fearless? Free diving with a massive great white shark. Once you get past the shock factor, the video is quite beautiful, even peaceful. Her name is Ocean Ramsey. She's from Hawaii. She's logged hundreds of dives with thousands of sharks, and she's come to Perth because of this. It's really hard to stomach. It's just disgusting and absolute waste of life, and it's really hard to watch. Yesterday, the 28-year-old and fellow shark scientist Riley Elliott swam with a 2.4-metre tiger, almost dead after being released from a drum line off trip. It really can't hold some speed in here. You have to open its mouth every now and then to get some oxygen. For more than an hour, they helped revive the shark, pushing water through its gills before it swam away on its own. <laughs> They insist they're not activists, rather independent observers opposed to the drumline policy. Any scientist around the world can see that this is a flawed system that they've set up. It's based on nothing but uh, an emotional reaction. 
The drum lines have been in the water since January and are due to be removed at the end of the month. Ocean Ramsey hopes they'll never return. It's really a tragic, sad waste of life. Rob Scott, 7 News.